News at 5 starts right now. It's been almost seven months to the day since an arsonist set the Goodwill store on South Boulevard on fire. It will soon be back in business. WBTV's Christy Etheridge gives us a tour of the new store before its grand reopening tomorrow morning. And so for the past 20 years, we've had a presence right here on South Boulevard. But seven months ago, this Goodwill went dark. Police say an arsonist broke in. No one was ever arrested for setting the fire that gutted the entire inside of the building, causing half a million dollars in damage and displacing 20 employees. We had a decision to make. And really, it was a decision about whether we would continue to provide services and have a presence in this community. They decided to stay, but they almost had to start from scratch. Now the work is finished and the doors are opening again. Let's take a look. Right. Everything in here has been replaced. Smoke-stained clothes are bright again. Soot-covered dolls have fresh faces. Melted electronics are like new. The community was extremely supportive. Residents rallied to restock the entire store with donations. Saturday, the shopping will begin again after a grand reopening ceremony. Employees say this store is proof that something positive can come from a disaster. We indeed are back. Back better than ever. In South Charlotte, Christy Etheridge, WBTV, on your side. Great to see that, and Goodwill will hold a short ceremony after 8.30 a.m. Tomorrow, doors open to shoppers at 9. From News 14 Carolina, this is your evening news now. A Charlotte Goodwill store is gearing up for a reopening Saturday after months of renovations. In February, the store on South Boulevard was intentionally set on fire, causing roughly a half million dollars worth of damage and forcing the store to shut down. News 14 Carolina's Mackenzie Harris has more about the updated location and why they say they're not going to let others' actions slow them down. From the big sign to the open doors and shiny new interior, the South Boulevard Goodwill Donation Center and store is ready for business again. Making sure that everything is scraped, not the hangers are scraped now. Janice Mixon has worked at this location for 17 years. With the way it looks now, it's hard to tell a fire destroyed much of the store in February. It's great. It's just like moving into a new house. <laughs> and it's all decorated again. It's, it's great. This was how the store looked the day after the fire. The melted electronics and hangers and room full of soot is now shiny and polished, upgraded to the standards of new stores instead of just replaced. Really proud of our team members and the community for rallying around us and uh, saying, hey, we're not going to let adversity or being knocked down keep us from coming back. The South Boulevard employees never lost their jobs. They were immediately repositioned around to other locations until their store was ready again. That was the blessing of it. The morning of the fire, we thought, okay, what are we going to do? The same day they put us to work. The organization's mission, along with the support from the community, which poured in after the fire, keeps them going. It helps people. I mean, it puts people to work. I mean, no matter... It's great. I love it. And that's why I stay so many years and I'm going to stay a long, long time because I love Goodwill. And they're ready to invite the community back into what Mixon calls home. We're back. We're bigger and better, you know, and they need to come in and see. And they say the best way to continue to offer them support is to stop by here to do some shopping or drop off donations as they get everything back up and running. In South Charlotte, Mackenzie Harris, News 14, Carolina. Tomorrow, the Goodwill on South Boulevard will reopen seven months after it was destroyed by an arson fire. Today, the staff there put the finishing touches on this newly renovated store and donation center. It was forced to close when someone intentionally set fire to it back in February. The damage totaled more than $500,000. It's so exciting and everything is so different and beautiful and it's great. We teach our clients that um, you know, we all face adversity, and a true measure of an individual and, a, and an organization is how you respond to that. The store also has some environmentally friendly additions like energy efficient light fixtures. It will reopen at 9 a.m. WCNC Charlotte. This is Carolina's News Channel 36. Looking out for you. The Goodwill store on South Boulevard that was damaged by an arsonist is finally set to reopen tomorrow morning. New tonight, our Rad Berkey takes a look inside the newly renovated store. 
It means the world to us. Barbara Mata Stoli is Goodwill's vice president for retail. She proudly showed off the newly refurbished South Boulevard store that will reopen for the first time tomorrow. Many wondered after the devastating fire that was set last February if the store ever really could reopen here, but that quickly became the goal. It became so clear immediately to us that the businesses, the organizations, churches, and um, people who live in this community rely on this store. A former employee who worked at the store until the day before the fire remains at the center of the investigation. Police have surveillance video showing someone breaking a glass door, then pouring a flammable liquid around, and then lighting a match. The fire caused half a million dollars worth of damage. And we were devastated in February when the store burnt, and the community was devastated. All of the employees who were working here at the time of the fire are going to be able to come back. Not one of them lost their jobs. And now, seven months later, that day is finally here. People are ecstatic to get this location back. It's the one that they've relied on. It's the one that they've missed. And uh, we know that people are going to be so excited. In Charlotte, Red Berkey, News Channel 36. And News Channel 36 will be there tomorrow when those doors reopen for the first time since that fire back in February. WCNC Charlotte. This is Carolina's News Channel 36, looking out for you. A local Goodwill store damaged by fire is set to reopen this morning. News Channel 36 reporter Richard Devane joins us live. He's at the store at South Boulevard and Remount, Remount Road. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning to you, Kim. Good Saturday morning, everyone. Yeah, this is a great day. September 22nd. It's a pretty big day, Lelia. <laughs> Tell it's, us about that. It's a very big day for us at Goodwill. We've been anticipating this for about six months since the fire, and finally our Goodwill store on South Boulevard is open. As we look at some video of what's inside the store, one of the things I think is so impressive about the fact the store is opening is that this store, all the employees, you had about 20 when this happened, right. they're still here. Yeah. That's right. Everybody was able to keep their jobs. Um, all of the other stores that we have embraced our team members with open arms, and they are so excited to be back at their home store today. And what does this store, it's been here for 19 years, what does it mean for this community? This community has really rallied around us, and we've been so grateful for that. Um, I think it's a really convenient location for our donors and our shoppers, so they're clearly glad that we're back today. And But even the businesses and the residents of this community have really been um, so supportive of us this, this 19 years and especially this year. Tell us a little bit about what's inside the store. Inside the store today, the changes, yeah. yes, you'll find um, some really exciting changes. It's a lot brighter inside the store. Um, if our shoppers and donors remember, this is a little bit of a smaller location, so we're excited that we kind of were able to give them a little more room to shop and to look at their great find. So we're excited. They're excited. We're excited. There are going to be some great deals. One of the things about you, these grand openings and grand reopening in this case, you're going to see some great things in there. Of course, this all opens at what time today? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. So you better come here early. We'll be inside at about nine o'clock. But for now, with our mobile newsroom right off South Boulevard, Richard Devane, Lilia. Thank you. <laughs> News Channel 36. This is your morning news on News 14 Carolina. A South Charlotte Goodwill store reopens this weekend after being forced to shut down for several months following an arson at the store in February. The damage at the store was estimated at roughly half a million dollars. News 14 Carolina's Mackenzie Harris is at the store on South Boulevard with more on today's grand reopening. Mackenzie. Well, Elise, I was here at this exact location seven months ago, the day after the fire occurred, and it looks a lot different here this morning. As you can see, the sign no longer says closed. It says they're back open. And then if you look over here by the doors, you can see they're no longer boarded up. Everything is cleaned up, new, polished, and ready for business. Now, the fire destroyed all of the items inside the store and everything other than the roof and walls. So instead of just replacing everything, Goodwill Industries updated the store to look like their newer locations. Employees tell me 
Basically, while this fire, which was an arson, was a shock, they weren't going to let it get them down. Instead, the organization and community rallied together to get the store back on its feet. Now, obviously, one of the first concerns for them after the initial shock was what would happen with the employees who rely on their jobs here. But just hours after the fire, these employees were all repositioned to other Goodwill locations and had transportation coordinated if needed so that they were with work until this weekend. Those employees say that was a blessing, and the organization is just a huge family that is dedicated to helping others. They say they're excited for this weekend's grand reopening to show off what many of them call home. Oh, God, it's going to be, it's great. It's great. It's just like, what? Moving into a new house. <laughs> and it's all decorated again. It's, it's great. Now, a, a ribbon cutting is scheduled for 8.30 this morning, and then the grand reopening is at 9 o'clock. Now, employees here say the best way you can continue to show your support for this location is to come by and drop off donations or just do a little shopping. Reporting in South Charlotte, Mackenzie Harris, News 14, Carolina. WCNC Charlotte. This is Carolina's News Channel 36. Looking out for you. Seven months after an arsonist set fire to the Goodwill on South Boulevard, the store is back open this morning. News Channel 36 reporter Richard Devane joins us live now in South Charlotte. What are you doing, Richard? <laughs> Hi, good Saturday morning to you, Kim. Good Saturday morning, everybody. Yeah, I, I had to find someplace safe to go from this morning. This is crazy out here. Let's take a look. We're here at the Goodwill store grand reopening right here. As you can see, there are a lot of folks, a lot of activity going on right now. Folks are having a good time shopping, getting those items. The doors just opened as our show opened, actually. And uh, as you can see, folks have got some good stuff. We got you back, Miss King. Tell us, um, exciting, huh? It's very exciting right now. Of course, our doors just opened, so uh, a little crazy in here, but there's so much good stuff to find, so I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised either. I've spoken to a couple shoppers. They have their plans. They know where they want to go. They're getting their items. The good thing about this, this store is actually bringing back, well, there are 20 jobs, that, uh, 20 employees who were here when the store uh, first had its fire, but now they're still here, right? That's right. We have a lot of the same faces that you guys will recognize from before. <laughs> Um, who are working at our South Boulevard store are back now. Um, so excited to have their home store back. And they never lost their job. They were able to stay throughout, That's right? That's correct. They were able to work at some of our other stores, which is a great thing. Um, so you may have seen them at Weddington or Sardis, but now they're back here. And even though there was a terrible fire that, that almost shut this store down, we'll shut it down for seven months. Now look at it. it I mean, if you if you don't look at the customers, you look past the customers, there's a lot of nice new stuff, huh? Yeah, it's really a beautiful store, and um, I think our shoppers are going to be really happy with what they find here. And the most important thing about Goodwill is always the case, the fact of what it does to help other folks. Yeah, it's actually really encouraging that we've had all of this great support because it means that Charlotteans really get that Goodwill is about more than just a store. It's really a community effort to help people get jobs, of course, changing lives through the power of work. And that is absolutely the case. I'm going to go get hide for cover. I'll be back in 30 minutes with more. But for now, you want to come, you got to come out here quick because it's all going to be gone. No, there'll be more. Richard Devane, News Channel 36. Yeah, Richard's going shopping. WCNC Charlotte. This is Carolina's News Channel 36. Looking out for you. A local Goodwill store damaged by fire is set to reopen this morning. News Channel 36 reporter Richard Devane joins us live now from the store. He's inside at South Boulevard at Remount Road with more. It looks like a huge crowd, Richard. That is absolutely correct. Good Saturday morning to you. We want to tell you, Kim, uh, you come on by. Come on by. There's a lot of activity. We're not going to stop the activity. Folks are here shopping. As you can see, Pierre will take a shot throughout the store. You can see that there are folks. It's been a bevy of activity since 9 o'clock. Folks actually started lining up at about 7 a.m. this morning. And as you can see, there's a lot, a lot of merchandise going off the shelf. And, of course, the best thing about Goodwill is that what it does for the community, how it helps reinvest in the community. We've got one of the shoppers here. You've got a few things. Yes. What, what is, why be here on the first day? Oh, I was so excited about being here this morning just to see the new store after the tragedy that happened. So I just wanted to come out and support um, all the workers for Goodwill. And, and pick up a lot of good things. I should ask you your name, shouldn't I? What's sure, your name? Sure, my name is Shirley Belton. And, and you've apparently shopped at the others. The oh, store absolutely, all the time, yes. And how does it feel to see some of the same uh, faces that were here before still employed here with Goodwill? It's, it feels good. It uh, lets me know that 
that um, people still have jobs, and that's a positive thing. And then what Goodwill does in the community, and also you got some good stuff oh, in here, right? I have some excellent stuff, and I am so excited. I am not finished shopping. I'll be here for another hour or so, probably. Another hour or so. That might be <laughs> one of the short periods of time. And as you can hear, there's an announcement going on, a lot of excitement. You still have time to come on down right off of South Boulevard, right here at the Goodwill Stores Grand Reopening. Richard Devane, News Channel 36.